Sometimes a single year can change everything we think we know about life. And 2024 was just such a year. While the world was caught up in its daily dramas and political upheavals, discoveries were being made in laboratories around the globe that would overturn our understanding of the very nature of existence. From the discovery of plastic in the male reproductive system to a fascinating study that could potentially explain why our universe is made up of physical matter, in the next few minutes, we will look at four of the most intriguing scientific discoveries of 2024 that could change our understanding of the world. This is not science fiction. These are facts, discoveries that will change the way we live, treat disease, and understand the universe around us in the coming decades. These are the foundations of the world our children will live in. There is no denying that spiders are among the most interesting creatures on Earth. For decades, scientists have been fascinated by arachnids for several reasons, including their impressive grip and ability to lift objects many times heavier than their own weight. The unique properties of their webs also attract considerable interest. Spider silk, with its exceptional strength, particularly in terms of tensile strength and strength to density ratio, has the potential to revolutionize various fields. Some types of spider webs even surpass steel in strength when compared on a weight basis. For decades, scientists have been aware that if they could create an artificial form of spider silk, it could transform entire industries, from textiles and medicine to the creation of impact-resistant protective materials. That is why, when in 2024, a team of scientists published a study in the journal Nature claiming to have laid the foundations for the creation of artificial spider silk, it caused quite a stir in scientific circles. Their work focused on imitating the natural process of web spinning, which allowed them to produce fibers with properties comparable to those of natural spider silk. Incidentally, although it sounds very simple, this process is extremely complex and has been almost impossible to reproduce in laboratory conditions until now. In their report, the scientists describe in detail the methods they used, which involved the use of microfluidic devices to produce artificial spider silk fibers. These devices allow precise control over the movement and conditions of the fluids, which in turn makes it possible to create fibers with customized properties, something that was impossible until now. This revolutionary breakthrough is the work of researchers at the prestigious Japanese scientific institute Riken, who have developed a device that mimics the function of the gland with which spiders produce their silk thread. The potential of artificial spider silk in medicine is virtually limitless. From bandages and surgical sutures to nerve regeneration, all of this can be transformed thanks to this new technology. Another study, also published in Nature, reports that, inspired by the structure of spider webs, Scientists have created twisted hydrogel fibers that can be used to absorb energy and protect against impact, something that opens up new horizons in traumatology and prosthetics. But the benefits are far from limited to medicine. Artificial spider silk has the potential to replace plastic fibers in the textile industry, providing a sustainable and renewable alternative. Its exceptional strength and elasticity make it an ideal material for high-performance applications, from bulletproof vests and ropes to protective clothing and specialized equipment. All this with minimal impact on the environment. Now let's go back to August 21st, 2024, when a team of dedicated physicists at Brookhaven National Laboratory in Upton, New York, made a revolutionary announcement. They announced that they had detected the heaviest exotic antimatter nucleus ever discovered. But you may be asking yourself the logical question, what does that actually mean? Well, in simple terms, the researchers discovered an atomic nucleus, but more specifically, an antiatom composed of four antimatter particles, one antiproton, two antineutrons, and one antihyperon. They named it antihyperhydrogen-4. The discovery was made at the Relativistic Heavy Ion Collider, a facility of the U.S. Department of Energy at Brookhaven National Laboratory. This is an atomic accelerator designed to reproduce the extreme conditions of the early universe by colliding heavy ions, specifically gold nuclei, at nearly the speed of light. To detect the rare anti-hydrogen-4 nuclei, the STAR collaboration uses its house-sized particle detector to analyze the debris from six billion particle collisions. The process involves sifting through trillions of particle tracks. 
each collision can produce hundreds or even thousands of peons, making it like looking for a needle in a haystack. The main motivation for studying exotic antimatter nuclei, such as antihydrogen-4, is to investigate the deep mystery of the asymmetry between matter and antimatter in the universe. And now comes the real mystery. According to the standard cosmological model, the Big Bang should have created equal amounts of matter and antimatter. But if that had really happened, the two would have annihilated each other, and the universe as we know it would not exist. The fact that the universe is made up almost entirely of matter suggests that at the very beginning, there was a slight but fateful predominance of matter. This is where scientists' hope lies, to discover the subtle differences between matter and antimatter that could explain this ancient cosmic imbalance. By studying particles such as antihydrogen-4, researchers believe they can get one step closer to understanding the universe. This will naturally open the door to new theories about its origin and evolution. But there is another significant scientific discovery from 2024 that seems very unusual at first glance, even strange. Nevertheless, it is quickly recognized as a significant advance in understanding the widespread presence of microplastics in the human body. This discovery raises important questions about their potential impact on male reproductive health, particularly erectile dysfunction and fertility. Microplastics are defined as polymer fragments ranging in size from less than half a centimeter to one micrometer, 0.2 inches to one micrometer. These tiny particles are mainly formed when larger plastic objects break down through chemical processes or physical wear and tear. They have contaminated the environment worldwide, polluting everything from the highest mountains to the deepest oceans and enter the human body through ingestion, inhalation and potentially skin contact. Once inside the body, these particles can spread through the bloodstream and accumulate in various tissues and organs. In recent years, the harmful effects of microplastics on our health have become increasingly apparent. The first discovery of microplastics in male reproductive tissue was made by a team of researchers led by Dr. Ranjit Ramasamy, an expert in reproductive urology, while he was working at the University of Miami. The study, published in IJIR, Your Sexual Medicine Journal in 2024, used tissue samples collected from men undergoing surgery for severe erectile dysfunction. The study was conducted between August and September 2023. Dr. Ramasamy notes that he was not particularly surprised by the finding, given that the male sex organ is supplied with many blood vessels, similar to the heart, where microplastics have been found before. The study revealed the presence of microplastics in 80% of the samples analyzed. A total of seven different types of microplastics were identified. The most common are polyethylene terephthalate and polypropylene. The discovery of microplastics in the tissue of this sensitive male organ raises serious concerns, especially regarding male reproductive health. Although the study confirms the presence of microplastics, it does not establish a direct causal link with erectile dysfunction. However, researchers suggest that their presence may contribute to this condition, as Dr. Ramasamy notes that microplastics were found in the smooth muscle of the organ, he suggests that their presence in places where they should not be could potentially lead to dysfunction of the smooth muscle, which is crucial for achieving an erection. This potential consequence for male health is a cause for concern and requires further study, as it relates to the broader concern about declining male fertility worldwide and may prove to be a major cause of it, which raises the question, should people drastically reduce their use of plastic? For decades, Scientists have considered the brain and the immune system to be separate realms within the human body. The brain is the control center for thoughts, emotions, and memories. The immune system is the tireless guardian against infections and diseases. The two worlds rarely intersect in textbooks, separated by the specialization of medical disciplines. But in 2024, scientists at Columbia University made a discovery that shook the foundations of biology. The brain can control the immune system to an extent that no one had suspected. The researchers identified the brain cells that regulate inflammation and tracked how they monitor the immune response. The discovery revealed something incredible. Specific neurons in the brain stem act like a thermostat dial, finely tuning inflammation as needed. Pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory cytokines communicate with different populations of vagal neurons to inform the brain of an emerging inflammatory response. 
In turn, the brain precisely modulates the course of the peripheral immune response. This means that the brain does not simply receive information about diseases, it actively controls them, amplifying or suppressing inflammation as needed. But how does this brain immune controller work? Experiments clearly show that neurons in the brainstem can directly regulate the inflammatory response. Researchers then discovered that there are two separate groups of neurons in the vagus nerve. One responds to pro-inflammatory signals and the other to anti-inflammatory signals. Think of it as a biological thermostat. When the body is attacked by an infection, the brain receives a signal and turns up the dial, increasing inflammation to fight off the invaders. When the threat passes, it turns down the dial, calming the immune system and preventing damage to healthy tissue. New research shows that an area of the brain can both amplify and suppress the immune system, opening the door to new scientific discoveries and new approaches to treating a wide range of immune disorders and diseases, from rheumatoid arthritis to toxic shock syndrome. The results suggest that the brain maintains a delicate balance between molecular signals that promote inflammation and those that suppress it, a discovery that could lead to treatments for autoimmune diseases and other conditions. This discovery lays the foundation for an entirely new medical discipline. Instead of treating brain diseases and immune disorders separately, we may soon be able to influence the brain immune connection. One thing is certain, traditional medicine will never be the same again. If you liked this video, then don't miss our video on the incredible scientific discoveries made in recent months. You can find it on the left side of your screen.